Kira Fano. Kira. My name is Blanche Kaira. My venture is the democratization of the fight against antibiotic resistant superbugs using a frontline medical device. That's my brother in the white chair. He lives here in New Zealand and he's already kiwified, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's my mom. She passed away in 1996 after succumbing to an illness caused by an infection. And that's me in 1973, three months old, a whole tutu in the making. <laughs> my mom was my source of inspiration to join the healthcare sector. After maneuvering through several obstacles, I was able to emerge with a molecular biology master's degree, which paved way for me in the healthcare sector. I have had over 10 years experience in healthcare service, and during this time I have overseen projects in 31 countries, spanning 11 Caribbean countries and 20 African countries. During this time, I have participated and actively led teams in the detection and surveillance of disease agents. And in one particular instance, my team was able to participate in the timely management of the 2009 swine flu pandemic in Uganda with zero fatalities. Additional efforts have been in the strengthening of public health systems, totaling to 1,147 in stringent adherence to the ISO 15189 standard towards international accreditation. Throughout this time, the high prevalence of antibiotic resistance caught my attention. For the benefit of everybody that is here, antibiotic resistance is the ability of bacteria to subdue the effectiveness of antibiotics that have been designed, developed, and administered to kill them. Basically, that means that they cannot be treated and these bacteria live on. Antibiotic resistance is caused by poor or lack of hygiene, increased needless use in livestock management, the misuse of antibiotics, treating them, using them wrongly, underuse, for pe in cases where people do not complete their treatments, overuse, and sadly it's been reported that over the last four years there's been an increase by 6.5% in the needless use of antibiotics. Sometimes we go to hospitals to get our infections treated only to leave them with other infections. Also, over the last 30 years, it's no new antibiotic class has been developed, meaning that these antibiotic resistant bacteria are not treatable, hence the high prevalence of antibiotic resistance globally. We need to act now so that we can preserve modern medicine. If we don't act now, there's going to be an increase in margins of new superbugs. Also, keep in mind that superbugs will not respect your borders. They'll find you anywhere. In the US alone, it's been reported that in one year, there are over 2 million illnesses and 23,000 deaths caused by antibiotic resistant bacteria. Also, some illnesses among patients have prevailed simply because these patients also have infections caused by antibiotic bacteria. Consequently, it has led to long hospital days, and in adults, this can be translated to lost productivity. It goes without saying, antibiotic resistance is associated with high healthcare costs, totaling to 20 billion, in some cases, 35 billion US dollars. Needless deaths have occurred because of antibiotic resistance in children and globally. The World Health Organization and CDC have called for urgent action to combat the crisis. If we don't act now, we are faced with the threat of a post-antibiotic era. Basically, this means illnesses caused by bacteria that were previously treatable will now be not treatable. And if this prevails for too long, we might become extinct. Keep in mind that as we 
continue to ignore the problem, costings associated with its management will go up. It's been estimated it can go up to over 100 trillion US dollars. The UN Sustainable Goals also call for urgent action. Goal three is applicable to this quest, and basically it states that we need to work towards good health and well-being. Goal 10 calls for reduced inequalities, and goal 17 calls for sustainable partnerships for sustainability of such causes as this. During the time that I have worked in the healthcare sector, I have overseen the execution of patient satisfaction surveys, and some of the key frustrations highlighted were the high costs associated with treatment of these infections, the very low doctor-patient ratios, the high time, the long waiting hours that patients have faced as they are trying to see a doctor or wait for results to come back, and the doubts that they have displayed with regard to the quality of testing results because they know that these health facilities do not have the necessary infrastructure, but they have no options, so they keep going to these health facilities. These findings guided me in the design of a solution, which is a product as a service that I've called Musao. Musao is a local word that means doctor. <coughs> this doctor will help, this device will help in the detection and tracking and also the treatment of these antibiotics, these antibiotic resistant threats. I intend for it to be affordable to everybody in the globe. And affordable to everybody, I'd like to emphatically say that it should be affordable by all persons that live on less than two and a half dollars per day, which constitutes 50% of the global population. It will be easy to use using three simple steps. It will provide results in real time, where real time I'll define as under 10 minutes, and it will have an acceptable threshold of accuracy. I believe strongly that for this to happen, we need to incorporate behavioral change with an integration of technology. This will lead to the mitigation and significant reduction of antibiotic, of the prevalence of antibiotic resistance. I do not know why these people have had this life suffering with these infections and sometimes losing their lives, but I know that I'm here in New Zealand on a mission. I come to you all Fano, co-creators, and the global community with my offer, which is sharing my knowledge and my experiences in the field. I also come to you with an open mind, ready to work with you all. I need funding. <coughs> I need access to your laboratories. And I need partnerships for the sustainability of this quest. Will you work with me, Kiora? <laughs>